This video is about how to visually distinguish LED XML by a newer model XML2. On older models can be seen the crystal itself here this yellow part. It is located on the substrate green square with sides of 5 by 5 mm, and the crystal is divided into 8 parallel strips. Also three contacts are connected to the crystal. The newer model of the LED is marked XML2. The size of the base of the LED is exactly the same, a square with sides of 5 by 5 mm, but this is a silver color, not green and the chip itself is not divided by strips, and has the form of a continuous yellow with a small barely perceptible gray dot, and it has two contacts. It is also often used in flashlights a similar LED XPE model. It can be confused with XML LED, but as you can see it has considerable differences. The chip is located on the base of green color with the parties 3.5 by 3.5 mm. It is much smaller than that of XML and is divided into three parallel lines. All these three models of the LEDs are very bright, but the newest of them XML2 has the highest brightness and the best efficiency. Then, a bit less bright and with an efficiency less than by 20%, compared with the XML2, there is an XML, and the least bright and least efficient of them is LED XPE. All of these three models of light-emitting diodes manufactured by the American company Cree and are used by different manufacturers of the flashlights. People who do not understand the labeling and appearance of the LEDs can easily confuse them with each other. Therefore, the manufacturer or seller of the flashlight may to specify that the torch has XML or even XML2 LED, but in fact there will be a cheap XPE LED. It is also quite bright, but considerably inferior in power of these two LEDs and therefore has a lower price. Therefore, sometimes the manufacturers and sellers of the flashlights sometimes make a fool of customers. The performance difference XML and XML2 LEDs is not very significant, only 20%, but the price of XML2 is appreciably higher. As you can see, these LEDs are soldered to the aluminum base with a diameter of 20 mm. Also, these LEDs are often found on the 16 mm base. The smaller the base, the lower the heat transfer from the LED to the flashlight's body, but the base is chosen depending on the design of the flashlight. In the next video, I'll try to explain clearly what denotes the marking of the most popular Cree LEDs. For example, Cree XML T6 or Cree XML 2U2 what it means, and how to choose the right LED brightness and color temperature of the glow. Here is a good example for you to understand, as you can see, it is a few flashlights of the same model and with the same model of the LED. But LEDs have a various bin, marking of the brightness and a various tint, designation of the color temperature of the glow. If you liked this video and it was useful, then please click the thumbs up, and then click on the advertising banners. And subscribe to my channel, I will add interesting videos in the same vein. Thank you for watching and sorry for my shitty English.